Can I get him open? Oh, buddy! You know, Peg, you have the look of a woman who just swallowed a canary. <laughs> Bertha, you have the look of a woman who just swallowed a cow who swallowed a canary. <laughs> and Marcy, you look like a chicken. Do you want anything? Yes, I have a strange yearning for some melons. <laughs> and a plucked chicken. <laughs> Kelly, have we got the pet for you. What is it this time? A bird. Takes one to buy one. <laughs> I really wish you two were coming with us. I hate seeing Al shirtless as much as anyone, but there's no better way to keep the flies off the food. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the bright side, there's no lifeguard alive that would give her mouth the beak resuscitation. <laughs> Well, it, it looks like something that come from the Colonel, all right. But you know... <laughs> but the, uh, the legs are picked clean, and, and I don't see any breasts. <laughs> that was a good one, eh, boy? <laughs> hey, Jefferson, don't look now, but something followed you home from El Pollo Loco. <laughs> Marcy, I'm afraid that you and the Joy Cluck Club are going to have to miss Slipping Denture Theater tonight. Okay, Al. Guess who's under the mistletoe? She picked me, Peg. Of course, I don't see any customers here yet. Nope. No one here but us chickens. <laughs> Actually, I was just on my way back from the supermarket. It seems I was all out of eggs. <laughs> Some of the girls are gonna be stopping by later for what I guess you could call a hen party. <laughs> Since we're stuck here, we might as well play Mad Libs, okay? I need a verb. Clock. <laughs> okay. Somebody give me a command. Cluck you. I like you. You know why you have such chicken legs, Marcy? <laughs> it's because your mother eats all those eggs. I was doing the last time I was wearing shoes like these. Inspiring Helen Reddy to write her new song, I Am Poultry. <laughs> Jefferson Darcy, now I expect Al to be involved in some receding harebrained scheme like this. <laughs> but what are you in for? Well, I, uh, I, I, I was, uh, I, I was on my way to a, uh, job, interview. a job interview when, when suddenly I was... Uh, kidnapped. Ki kidnapped. <laughs> By a gang of chickens. chickens. <laughs> but real chickens, not you. <laughs> now you take your prairie chicken hide and cluck on out of here. Listen, I came by to warn you. Marcy's as mad as a wet hen about this. Well, that means somewhere out there there's a wet hen just as mad as Marcy. <laughs> Marcy really do look alike. You think so? Yeah, I know I'm no supermodel, but I never really thought I looked like a chicken. <laughs> do you see a fish eye? No, but I see a chicken leg. Kiss him goodbye. Now, Marcy, just a second here. Now, why don't you just buck, 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 buck out of here? <laughs> great, great, Peg. You go upstairs, I'll put the chicken out. God, I hate men. I thought you were man's best friend. <laughs> oh, that's a dog, not a chicken. Sorry, Marcy. Uh, excuse me, but doesn't anybody know this is against the law? So is dressing up a chicken and calling it your wife. <laughs> Any food? Yeah, there's a six-pack in the fridge. I'd kind of like to have a little something to wash it down with. 
Why don't you pop this chicken in the oven? Oh! <laughs> Excuse me, Marsh, that's an honest mistake. <laughs> this is the best vacation I have ever been on. Thank you. <laughs> you beat me! <laughs> Shaved ape. Hey, no need to get personal chicken legs. Well, mercy, congratulations. I didn't know you were expected. <laughs> you know, I don't get it. Everyone in this town loves what I'm doing, but you guys. You swine. And our next door McNugget. <laughs> Well, if she's so famous, how come I haven't heard of her? I don't know, maybe because she doesn't make chicken pies. <laughs> well, aren't you going to stop this? No, he is not, Marcy. You see, the NEA gave me money for me to make a movie of my life. Now, if you want to see a movie of your life, I suggest you go rent Rooster Cogburn. <laughs> we really didn't come over to throw our happiness in your face. Actually, uh, I was wondering if you could do me a favor. What? Grab one of your wife's legs and make a wish? <laughs> If you have chicken legs, call me Colonel Sanders. No, baby, you do chicken right. <laughs> Marcy, let me explain something to you. Buck, 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 buck. Buck, 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 buck. <laughs> Marcy, despite your annoying flapping of both lip and wing, I'm glad you're here. I'm having a problem with birds. Perhaps you can speak to them in their native tongue. I spent my two weeks off at a seminar. You are what you were. So you are a chicken. <laughs> with a bad haircut. Guys, the damage is done. <laughs> Chicken. Why does he keep calling me a chicken? Now, Marcy, don't get your feathers ruffled. I would really love to stay and see you go down for the third time, but I have to get home. I, uh, promised Jefferson <laughs> I'd cook him a fryer for dinner. Go, Larry. Go, go. Hey, Mercy, I thought I heard some pecking. <laughs> Peggy, my oven is on the fritz, and I was hoping you could warm my giblets. I thought that was your husband's unfortunate job. No, it's my job to stuff the bird. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy, rooster bait. <laughs> okay, look who's crossed the road. I'd say it was a chicken, but it doesn't have any breasts. <laughs> Just nuggets. <laughs> and it takes 10 of them to make a decent meal. <laughs> then we'll keep it a secret, Jefferson. Not a word to... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got that was it. Mrs. Darcy's niece. That was Amber. Marcy's niece? Must be from the unfeathered side of the family. <laughs> <laughs> because! Because! You're a chicken! Yeah! <laughs>